And he's blowing himself up too, so he's getting tired the whole time. He just threw that all barrage. And now he saw everything. Now he's closing in. Anonymous sent three dollars. Lol, imagine being a fat loser review. Thank you, Anonymous, for that three dollars. <laughs> you know what's funny is <laughs> they'll actually send those in and then screen cap. They'll screen cap them quick as fuck. <laughs> and they'll be like I don't know, 30 or whatever, regular donations. And then they'll screen cap that one. And they'll be like, oh, wow. Oh, wow. And they gave me money to do it, by the way. Like the guy who docks my number to Ghost. And he's like, oh, I talked to you in Atlantic City last year, which, by the way, it was only like a few months ago. It was like the end of last year. When I was in Atlantic City last time, that Winston Fujimori dude was like, oh, you're in Atlantic City. I can drive up. I can drive up and meet you. And he's some dude super chat a lot. I was like, yeah, if you want to, whatever. I was at the Tropicana just watching football and shit. I was like, yeah, go ahead. And so he dr he drove up there and we kicked it and stuff. He didn't say anything about ghosts. Like, he's just making that shit up. And then he's like, oh, you always said that, uh, you know, I'd get ghosts on your show and I'd give him your number. It's like, uh, well, no, first off, that didn't happen. Second off, he tried to link some clip from three years ago or something. I was like, I don't give a fuck what clip you're linking from three years ago. What are you talking about? I blocked this guy on Twitter. I talked about him once on the show even because I was like, this dude used to super chat my show. He used to super chat Nick's show. And now he's talking about, oh, I was brainwashed by the cowboy cult and all this just crazy stuff. And I actually met him in person too. Like this is a guy I hung out with in person. And new, basically. And, I mean, this is a reason, honestly, I like hanging out with people that I meet from the show, though, so I'm not going to stop doing it. But this is a reason that some people don't do that because it's like they're just fucking crazy people out there. Like, there's no reason for them to be saying all this shit. Megafoot dude sent $3. Retards are gay. I'm trying to see. Uh, oh, I think I linked it on uh, on Telegram. Then he tried to say, oh, I didn't leak your number. I was like, dude, we have it here on YouTube, like on the clip. It shows you did it. And then he's like, oh, I just posted it privately. I was like, okay, well, I'm getting all these crazy calls now. It doesn't matter if you posted it privately. Like, what the fuck? You posted it in his, like, inner circle chat. And so then I had his phone number. Well, I Googled his phone number. And it showed up and he had told me his name was Matthew already. And so when I Googled his phone number, it showed up on Google as his, ad his address and name and everything else. So I put that out on Telegram because he's a piece of shit and he was putting my stuff out there and he wants to be a public figure and he wants to talk shit and make up a bunch of shit about people and talk about cults and all this when you were just some dude who super chatted the show and we're basically a schizophrenic spur who called in all you know mush mouth all the time with all these big ideas and you're just some faggot so you want to be a public figure you want to go out there and talk about you were a member of a cult well okay you're a newsworthy person then if you were a member of the cult and you want to get out here and you want to share my number then that's what you get and he's like oh rob i ordered a shirt and you got the info from that no actually i didn't because you put down some fake like winston fujimori or whatever whenever you ordered it so I didn't, and I don't have to. You can just Google the guy's phone number. You can see that his name comes up. Like, <laughs> I don't have to lie about it. So, again, it's like, no, actually, maybe you just want to change your phone number because all you have to do is Google it, and there it is right there. So, and I wouldn't, I mean, if I had done that, I wouldn't feel bad about it, but no, I just Googled your number. And then he's like, well, you shared my address, and I just shared your number. I was like, well, okay, well. I guess, you know, you should have thought about that before you fucked with me. Uh, and again, that's public information. There's nothing There's nothing I did nefarious to get it, um, Matthew. So no regrets. Then I texted him. I was like, oh, what about this? You said there was no proof. Here's the, here's the information. Here's you on Twitter. I mean, on the stream. Let me pull it up, actually. People can hear the dial. So we have it on record. Let me see what time it was. Uh, yeah, twelve twenty. 
Uninspored thoughts sent $3. The funniest part of the fight is that Aborsky either one, agreed to fight before watching any footage of Salt Poppy or two, agreed to the fight after watching this footage and actually thinks he can win because he bench pressed 140 pounds the other day. Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't know what he thinks. He just thinks he's getting a payday, but he's going to get worked. Like I don't I don't know if he. <laughs> you waste of sperm. Yeah, okay. I know. Oh no, I looked him up in the phone book. Oh yeah, they tried to make it this big thing. Ralph was, you know, persecuting this guy. There was no evidence that he leaked his number. That was their first thing. There was no evidence he did this at all. And then I put out the evidence, and they're like, "Oh well, it's no big deal." And it was just a prank. That was what he said on. That's what he told me on Signal. He's like, "Oh, it's just a prank. What's wrong with you?" First off, I had you blocked on Twitter for a reason. You're a fucking spurg. You're making up shit about my friends. You're talking shit about me. You're some weirdo who used to super chat the show and now feels spurned for whatever reason. I never did anything to you. I've been nice to you. So this is a guy obviously mentally unstable. You understand? When somebody behaves in that manner, that means you're mentally unstable. And I don't like you anymore. And I had you blocked. And I talked about it on the show. And you're such a fucking autist and such a fucking spurg. There's no way you didn't hear what I said a couple weeks ago about you on this show. Because I said that. I was like, this guy. And it wasn't a big thing. It was just like, yeah, this Winston Fujimori. Yeah, I heard. He was talking about he was a member of the Catboy Cult. And I was like, this guy. I don't know. He watched the show for years. And he supported Nick, too. And he used to call in all the time. And there's records of him calling in. He was always a complete fucking spurg. And I was nice to him because, you know, it's like, okay, this guy watches the show. He supports the show. Okay, cool. Nice guy, whatever. But he was a nice guy. He was a fucking mentally ill spurg. And that happens, but it is what it is. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Texas Gorper says, I remember that dude. He sent super chats all the time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he did. And it's like, okay. You know, you try to be nice to somebody, but obviously they're not all there. Facts. Hey, Winston Fujimori, I've got the Gunts number. I'm in the Thunderdome. Do you want me to ping to you? Uh, oh, man. Are you talking about Ralph? Are you talking about Ethan Ralph? Dude, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, if we got Ethan Ralph's number, I'll I'll fucking do it. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to blur it blur it out because, dude, I think people can hear the dial tone and shit, and I, uh, you know, I, I I don't want that to happen, you know. So we're gonna have to do something. But uh, Nick hated that guy. Yeah, I mean, I could see why 100 percent because Nick's not nice. <laughs> Uh, people talk about I'm mean um, and honestly I, he was completely right by the way can we just say so uh, hey Winston uh, don't do it in the dome do it in the fucking uh, inner circle here so even Ghost is like oh don't put the number in there because he'd already posted it in there all right, do it in the inner circle, if you will, there. Uh, okay, look, what we're going to do here, apparently, according to Winston Fujimori, he has, uh, apparently, he has uh, Ralph from the Ralph Retort, Ethan Ralph's phone number. Oh, is that right? Oh, wow. I thought there was no evidence you did that, Winston. Then he turned me, I messaged him after that, and I'd already blocked him. And I was like, uh, what about, I thought there was no evidence you did that. And he's like, oh, well, it was just a prank, bro. And I was just sharing it privately. And uh, uh. first off, no and no. There is no prank. I don't like you, nigga. I'd already blocked you, faggot. He hung out with me and Pantsu. I hung out with, <laughs> I let this guy hang out with me and my pregnant fiance. On a vacation, another vacation that we took to Atlantic City in the fall, where I was enjoying myself watching football, and he was a complete fucking spurg. Like, what? And I was still nice to this guy. Are you kidding me? It didn't, like, there was nothing, he didn't pay me anything, or like, I didn't say, oh, you have to pay me. Motherfuckers, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm at Tropicana, I'm just hanging out watching football, sure. If you want to come up here, yeah, I'll be hanging out. I'll be here at the casino. Literally. And hung out with him for hours. And he was bitching about having to walk back to his car and shit. Like, he was such a fucking lazy bum. He was literally bitching about... Imagine being with... Uh, by the way, I walk all over the fucking place. 
Like, I know that that's some kind of foreign concept for some of these faggots, but when I'm out, I'm moving around. Like, I'm going all over the place. He was bitching about having to walk back and forth to his car and walking from the Tropicana to the Caesars, which is a 10-minute walk down the Atlantic City boardwalk. It's like, nigga, you can't walk 10 minutes down the Atlantic City boardwalk? Are you that fucking busted? Literally. This guy was such a shut-in autist 10 minutes down the boardwalk. And he's, like, looking all around and, like, oh, fucking. I'm like, dude, this guy is fucking, like, some fucking, I don't even know, crackhead mentality of an autist. Like, I don't even, I, I can't even relate at all. It's like, this guy, yeah, Pansy, I was nice to him. He was weird as fuck, as holy fuck. And I'm not making any of this up. Not a single word. The guy was weird as fuck. And was still nice to him. Never did him wrong at all. And then, Chemo Casino did the whole Judas thing. And I saw him, and I guess they cited him in their super chats or whatever. And they're like... Which the Fujimori for whatever, $20. You're like, oh, I'm so glad. This is the last straw. I'm done with Nick. I'm done with this cult. I'm done with the brainwashing. And like, I'm speaking out now. It's like, okay, you know what? You're a faggot. You're a fucking faggot, Spurg. You always were. And I always thought that. Period. And so did anybody else with a brain. I try to be nice to you like I'd be nice to any retard. Do you understand? At first, when I thought they were a friendly retard. Once I realized they're a malicious retard, they need to fucking go away. Do you understand? We can be nice to pet retards, not malicious ones. Uninspired thoughts sent $3 to be fair. Atlantic City is a shithole and dangerous as fuck, even on the boardwalk. Got jumped for a cigarette and kicked in the face they're right outside the Tropicana. Shit can happen. <laughs> no doubt about that. But he's a pussy. Like, what the fuck? Man, I don't fucking... I'm from Memphis. Like, what the fuck? Who gives a fuck? Like, let's go. Do you think that's going to stop me living my life? You know how many street fights I've been in? Just public ones. You think those are the only ones I ever had? Give a fuck? I'm going out. He's currently in Lisbon. Uh, right? He just got his ass. So this motherfucker leaks my, uh, leaks my phone number while I'm in Lisbon on vacation... And had already been attacked. Oh, it's just a prank. He's like, you and your you and your goons got ghost suspended from Twitter. No, I didn't get ghost suspended. Ghost is a faggot. I did not get him suspended. I'm glad he got suspended. I wish he'd get suspended from the earth. But I had nothing to do with that. And that's just something they made up. And they want me to say I did it. When I won't do that, I just completely refuse to admit to something I didn't do. That's just a little pet peeve of mine. I just won't. If I had done it, I would be screaming it from the mountaintops by now. Are you fucking kidding me? That would be the funniest shit of all time, and I would love to share it if I had done that. No, Ralph's lying. Why would I lie? <sighs> Davidson, $3, I bet that dude watches anime. It starts simple with Bugs Bunny in Dexter's lab. The next moment they are jerking it to Boy no. Supreme and Powerpuff Girls. Don't throw bugs into this. Don't throw bugs into this. What? Why would I not just say it? I don't get it, Brittany. I see her in chat, show, Brittany, but it's like... Apparently, he has uh, Ralph from the Ralph Retort, Ethan Ralph's phone number. He's currently in Lisbon, uh, right? He just got his ass whooped. Uh, I so I just got attacked. I just got attacked. And dude's like, let me leak his number. A guy that I kicked it with in real life. That's how shady these motherfuckers are. Never let them fool you. A guy I was nice to, kicked it with in real life. He was a complete Spurg, supported the show, but he was obviously a mentally ill Spurg the entire time, by the way. Still was nice to him. It's like, all right, let's try to be nice. And that was the that was the return. Then they're like, Ghost is going to shut down Ralph. What is Ralph going to do? What are you talking about? 
It's some old dude with a podcast that most of the time can't even do his fucking podcast. Oh. Is this Ghost Declares War? Oh, no. You want a war gun? Don't do it. Don't sit in your I will subcontract the enemy right to fuck you up. It's not even good. When he came on the show, he got absolutely demolished. And then they were sharing the clip around. I was laughing at him the whole time. <laughs> I only got, I only did the rant at him for fun. Like you could see me laughing after I said it. Like it wasn't even, it was just me fucking with ghost. If you watched it, it was just complete. It was a complete farce because I was like, this guy is just calling, making up wild shit. I don't even have any history with this guy. Like it's not, it doesn't even bother me. Like the shit he's saying, it's like, it's just some weird old guy. Because he says it's good promo if he's not serious. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I don't think this guy really does that does serious. But he did seem to be kind of upset that I had said all those things about the Bill Wagner crew and all the other shit. So I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like he was a little upset about that. But the guy's just a clown. It's like whatever. <laughs> With the enemy right to fuck you up. They shared this 20-second clip on YouTube. That polyfrog, mentally ill faggot. Remember when we listened to him try to speak? Was that last week? Oh boy. That was uh that was a tragic turn of events. You see why these people <laughs> you see why they are how they are sometimes. Uh <laughs> It's uh, it's tragic, actually. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.